Hello, so um, I'm going to be talking to you all about the prototypes and how my group came up with our decision for which prototype we were going to use. And then I'm going to uh, give a brief uh, demonstration also about each prototype as I give them. So, um, as a group, <clears throat> we came up with a uh, hundred ideas and we talked about. Um, we came up with 25 ideas each, which which made it to 100, and then we had picked um, one from um, the 25 that we made, and then we made a prototype, and then we all came together collectively to pick um, one of the prototypes as our final prototype. So um, the way the problem is that we're trying to figure out how to get the vaccine um, put in so um, that the animals can get it, um, the deer and other wildlife. Uh, the problem is now that they are trying to get darts to put um, into all of the animals and that's time consuming and also um, a lot of money. So uh, one of my group members had made um, a prototype where it can be a, a spray bomb and so you can see this is where the vaccine is and you spray the bomb through here um, the bomb is made so it'll be sprayed a scent to get the animals um, and the deer and wildlife away from the streets so for instance um, they'll spray the bomb um, in the area that's far away from the roads and that'll help get the deer away from the roads and now lessen the uh, the accident uh, percentage and um, that's more efficient than dark, putting darts in every animal um, and it also is cost efficient. Another um, idea that I remember had was we had to have like a a propeller it would be set in a stand I mean in a field um, that's away from the streets um, and roads and then um, certain times of the day it'll sprinkle um, the vaccine out in the plants and um, it'll be on the plants and on the animals so that's how we can get the vaccine to the animals um, this is that prototype so you see how um, the group member made this. That'll be the stems. Um, the where um, that'll be where how long the everything is, and then this part is where the propellers will go, and then um, the vaccine will fall out through there. Also, another group member had made a suggestion to put the vaccine inside of. Uh, corns and grains because that is where most of the um, deer and wildlife they mostly eat corns and grains so they said that if um, we put the vaccine inside of that then it'll help be able to spread the uh, be able to have the vaccine spread it on a wide variety um, so it's this different this is here this is that picture uh, if you can see this is the vaccine, and then this is the corn and the grains, and they're putting that inside of that. And then they'll have that set out for everybody, all the animals to eat it. And then we had two more. Um, someone had like a sprayer. So we know how you have like weed eaters. Um, no, the weed spray for like the weeds in gardens. So it'd be on a book bag. And they'll have a spray they can spray all the plants and they're going all through the fields. Um, that'll help spread the vaccine too. This is their demonstration. This is the book bag. This is straps. And then that is where they have the vaccine in it. And then finally we have um, another. Uh, the last one was the person had made the idea that we could put a dye in plants, in the plants and um, that'll help 
be less cost efficient and um, be um, easier to track. So what, what's going on is that it'll be um, genetically modified plants with the vaccine in it and it'll be a dye on the plant to show that the plant is already been um, genetically modified. So the people um, that are making the plant, they know where it's at. And so they know okay not to make any more of the plants in this area because it's already been made. And um, that was our, after we talked as a group, we figured out that that would be the best choice because it would be more natural since it's in the plants and less cost efficient because um, we don't have to put so much money if we just make it plants and uh, it'll be um, the best way like since it's natural it won't have any um, as much problems as like a dart or spray bottles or anything like that. So that's how my group came up with our prototype decisions, and I appreciate your time.